here with Frank Nuccio, the CPO League Commissioner. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Uh, tell us a little bit how the seeds are made up for this tournament. Uh, the seeds are made up, um, we use past CPL tournaments, U.S. tournaments, we use CPL Europe tournaments, and we use Cal tournaments, so um, Cal, uh, Cal uh, League seeding. So I seed the teams from the last event, basically, uh, the last two events, and then the Cal administrators also help with the seeding process. And then lastly, the CPL Europe administrators help assist uh, in the seeding of all the uh, European teams and Correct. foreign teams Fire that we're not familiar with. So, the, so actually this year, the seeding process was probably the most comprehensive that we've ever done. It took a very long time this time around. Tell us a little bit about the computers that the CPL is using. Uh, these are the latest and greatest from Intel. The hyper-threaded uh, processors, 3 gigahertz, with their brand new motherboards. So the gamers are playing with uh, the very latest hardware. What's the dumbest thing that a player or team has ever tried to do in the tournament before? Uh, it was actually my very first event, the first official event, Babbage's. Um, there was a team from Germany, and they were communicating in their you know, home language, and I had asked them to stop, and they kept persisting, and uh, I had to bark, and that was really the last time a team ever gave me problems. Welcome to day two here at the CPL. I'm John and with me is Scott. We're in the tournament area where 64 teams will be paired up in the qualifying bracket. That is correct, John. 32 teams unfortunately will be eliminated today on Inferno, while the other 32 winning teams will move on to play the auto birth teams on train. Why don't we go ahead and roll some of that great footage. Harvey Magotti, along with the rest of Team Four Kings, quickly took control of the match against Team TS. Four Kings started as T first and dominated the whole map, winning by a score of 13 to zero. I'm here with one of the players from Four Kings that just beat TS in their first match. Why don't you go ahead and just give us a little bit of information about the match? Well, um, because we didn't get an auto berth, we didn't play in a qualifier paid on way. We had to play from the from the get-go rather than just skip to the last 32, which is what a lot of teams. So we were seeded first in the first 64 team bracket, I think. So we played TS, who are, they maybe got a little bit of a rough ride to get us in their first game, uh, but it went really quite quickly our way and it was over pretty fast. Jackson 5, Noble match, was extremely tight each round, with no team having a clear advantage. Good job, guys. Damn nice. <laughs> the match could have ended on this play, but Team Noble pushed it into overtime, yet still came up the loser. I'm here with Brian Kellogg from Team Jackson 5. They just won in an overtime match against Team Noble. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit how the match went. It was really rough. Like, we hadn't scrimmed all day, so nothing went by straight. It was tough. Do you change your game plans when you do go into an overtime like this? We did. We changed our pistol round on T-side. Our pistol round on T-side was like armor up the middle, and CT side was armor rush right, which is really not common, so we changed it, we switched them around, we just flipped them. Team Zero Fade found themselves paired up against an unknown team and quickly lost the opening round. Boost in the back, boost in the back here. Bob's going down, Bob. System Elite couldn't get into a groove and started to lose control of the match. After Zero Fade regained their composure, they went on to easily take the match by a score of 13 to 2. 
here with Ben from Team Zero Fade. They just won their match. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell me how you felt after you lost uh, the handgun round. Were you nervous? Well, we were kind of nervous because we had never heard of them before. And the way we lost was really funny. They just got a couple of random kills on us and it slowed us down just enough to where their nades killed us more. Normally we'd be by the nade point by then, but we were already dead. And then uh, we actually turned it around and we went armor hard left on eco round and won it almost straight outright. So after that, we just we just cruised, you know, because eco round wins put you up like that. Throughout the whole match, it looks like you're getting a little TK happy. Uh, why don't you go ahead and fill us in on that? I don't know. I think everyone, uh, we have a few guys here. It's their first time to play in the tournament area. It's a little jumpy. We had a couple guys with sub 10 health get AK'd, and I myself got TK'd three times, which I'm not real happy about, but we still won, so it's all good. This is your fourth time coming into the CPL. Do you think that gives you a better edge over the other teams that are unknown? Um, it does, really. There's a lot of things here that you wouldn't think to prepare for. That Some of that is like the cold. You'd never think that a room with a million computers could get this cold, but it really does. And uh, I'm telling you what, we, uh, you just tell someone to sit on their hands after they're dead in the next round, you know, it can make a difference. But other than that, uh, we have changed our roster a little bit, and all these guys now have land. So when we come to CPL, we feel confident, and it's nice seeing the familiar faces. Get ready for your Newegg.com play of the day. Jackson 5 won a long-fought match with the help of Stoic and Kellogg in overtime. Stoic planted the bomb, and Kellogg delayed the CTs long enough to win the match. It's been a great first day at the Counter-Strike Tournament, and the matches are only going to get better tomorrow. That's right, John. Tomorrow, the Auto Birth teams step into the play, of which the best teams in the world fall into that bracket. They'll be playing on train against the 32 teams that won today. Should prove quite exciting.